It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here at the Mandalay Bay Buffet. I'm here during the week for dinner. It's $33, so let's see what there is to eat. So to start, we've got some fresh fruit and some soups, chicken noodle and split pea with ham. I am a fan of split pea soup. So all right, here's some salads, like macaroni salad, seaweed salad. There's even some salmon. Oh, and here's the sushi. Assorted sushi. So that's pretty good to know that there's sushi here because I know that's a popular thing to eat at a buffet. Although I don't usually like to eat it at a buffet. Beef, lamb, gyros or gyros. I guess that's what the meat is there. Is this the, oh, the pe warm pita breads. Well, that's kind of cool. Garbanzo beans and seafood paella. This says tequila lime chicken, vegetables, and this is labeled vegan. So if you're vegan and you're eating here at the Mandalay Bay Buffet, here's your dinner. There's corn too. Cream and butter though, not vegan. Ooh, here's some pork carnitas. Look at that. Pork. Fatty pork. And beef tamales. I don't know. You never know how good a tamale is going to be until you open it up. Spanish rice and some flour tortillas under there. Laredo beans with bacon. Oh, and churros. Churros with vanilla cream inside. And some beef flautas. And nacho chips. And here's the Asian food. I do like myself some Asian food on a buffet. XO shrimp. This is what this is labeled as XO shrimp. With pork pot stickers, egg rolls, rice, bok choy, kung pao beef, and sweet and sour pork. Fried rice, pork buns. Pollock fish is what this is labeled as. Lo mein. Sesame balls with red beans. Oh, look at this, a nice, a nice new whole piece here of panko crusted salmon. That looks pretty good. But there's more. Look at this. This is the pasta ordering station. So on this side you order and on that side you pick up. Here's looks like these are the potential ingredients you can have mixed in with your pasta. And there's the man who will make it for you. Look at that. Made to order pasta, that's good stuff, it's fresh. And you can't beat that on a buffet. Oh, here's the meats. All right, oven roasted turkey. New York strip loin. Oh, and I see some crab legs. Everybody loves the crab legs. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you taking a video of the cra of food? Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves crab legs at a buffet, right? Yes. <laughs> if it's good. If it's good. I don't know. I haven't tried yet. You haven't tried them yet? Okay, well, here's hoping, right? I'm hoping. <laughs> so these crab legs, I guess they look all right. There's some potatoes. Seafood chiopino is what this says. I think there's like crab legs stuck into this too. Vegetables back there. Oh yeah, this is also labeled vegan. So for you vegans out there, here you go. And here's some pork rib tips. Beef ox tail. And vegetables, more vegan vegetables. I mean, it's probably the healthiest stuff here. Pollock fish. Mashed potatoes. Probably not vegan though. Oh, but these are. Actually, there's lots of things labeled vegan here. Oh no, it says fried chicken, but there's no fried chicken. 
This is supposed to be the fried chicken right here. I hope I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit. Because <laughs> if they if they just have an empty thing of fried chicken, I'm not gonna be too happy, but let's hope. Lamb also boot though. That looks alright. I might be happy with that. Grilled pork chops. Italian chicken. Looks like some Italian herbs on that chicken. Corn, here's another vegan dish. Beef Swedish meatballs. Hey, it's just like being at Ikea. Alfredo sauce, cheese lasagna rolls, and marinara sauce. And there's still more. There's pizza. Barbecue chicken pizza, vegetable pizza, three cheese pizza, and pepperoni pizza. Hard to say. This could be the type of pizza that looks terrible but tastes great, or looks great and tastes terrible. Really hard to say. Oh, here's the salad bar. This is a pretty good looking salad bar. At least there's a lot of things on it. There's the lettuces, different lettuces, peppers, beets, mozzarella, baby corn, and jalapenos. I'm actually getting a big whiff of jalapenos from this whole Whole display here. And here's the salad dressings. Looks like you can also order uh, cocktails or beer or something like that here. And we may be, oh yeah, here's the champagne, wine, and beer. Here's the selection. If you're into any of this for an additional charge, of course. And I think we've almost made it all the way around. I think, yeah, here's the pasta station. Here's the other part of the buffet. Oh my God, look at all this salmon. This is so much salmon. Panko crusted salmon. Wow. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get some of that. Asian food. Mexican, the sushi, the soups, and there's something right over there. I think it's shrimp. Here we go. Some bread, butter, and shrimp. I knew it. Cold cocktail shrimp, mussels, everything on ice, as you can see, keeping it icy and snow crab legs. All right, well, there's certainly a lot to choose from here on this buffet, so let's make a plate and see how it tastes. All right, so far I've got some ribs, some crab legs, and I gotta get some of these Ikea meatballs. And look, my fried chicken is here. I knew it, I knew they wouldn't let me down. Fried chicken. This thing is completely greasy though. I feel like my fingers are now covered in that grease. Oh, there. I hope this is the breast. That's the one I like the best. Maybe a little mashed potatoes. That'll go good with the chicken and the ribs. All right. Now, hopefully the grease on my fingers, I won't drop the plate. We'll see how it tastes. All right, let's try this crab. I got the crab crackers. Still not sure what to do. I think do I do that. Maybe if I crack it here. Leave a comment and let me know the proper way to crack crabs. Because I'm not sure this is going to get me anywhere. I do see some meat in here. <laughs> yeah, they don't turn up. All right, well, I got a little piece here. That's not bad. So let's try these. Oops, gotta get that crab shell off. Let's try these meatballs. <laughs> Who doesn't love a meatball? Well, vegans, but. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
That's fine. Doesn't taste too too artificial. This like is might be real meat in there. Mashed potatoes. And it's rib. Let's start with the chicken here. Fried chicken. Really hot. I need to just put it out. Good. Another rip. A little too soft, but yeah, it just tastes like barbecue sauce. It's okay though. All right, let's get some of this salmon. There is certainly plenty of it. It's like a nice piece. Oh, we hear some fresh, some fresh noodles coming for the uh, Chinese food here. That looks really good. I do love myself some Chinese noodles. I also love myself some pork carnitas. Carnitas. This is, <laughs> this is a great thing about buffet. This plate is starting to look so crazy. That's part of the fun of eating at a buffet. It doesn't matter if the foods go together. How about a gyro? Get some of that meat. Cheetah bread. Slippery too. Okay, let's try the salmon. Panko crusted salmon. I even see some like little little fish bones. Gotta be careful of that. I don't know, maybe you can just eat them. They're pretty small. Moist. Let's try the carnitas. Pretty moist too. <laughs> now let's try this gyro meat. All right. Fill the pita with this. Oh, you know what it doesn't have is that sad. sad, sad Tzatziki sauce, the best part of gyros. It's okay, but it's dry because it needs that sauce. Maybe it's up there. I didn't see it next to the, the, the meat. And let's try the noodles, Chinese noodles. Hot and fresh. Brand new. Not so good. All right, I think it's time for some carved meats. I guess I probably need a guy to carve it for me. Oh, hey, can I get a piece of both, please? Thank you. You're welcome. That looks really good. That looks like real, <laughs> real meat. A little the au jus on there and turkey gravy. Is that too much? Never too much, right? All right, let's try this beef. It's New York strip loin. Okay. A little 
tough. Let's try the turkey. I like turkey better anyway, really. It's one of my favorite meats, so. Turkey and gravy. That's always good, really. All right, well, I had to get the made-to-order pasta. I got the spaghetti with the marinara sauce, chicken, broccoli, mushrooms, and some garlic. Let's see how it tastes. It's hot, that's for sure. Probably the freshest food on the buffet. That's good. Tastes like spaghetti. All right, I think it's about time for dessert. There's a whole dessert section over here that I haven't even looked at. So let's take a look. Got the vanilla and chocolate soft serve dispensers. Some bread pudding. And vanilla sauce, strawberry sauce, blueberry sauce, pineapple sauce. Oh, here, sugar-free. This is sugar for desserts. Black Forest cake. Strawberry shortcake, yeah, it looks all right. Some cookies. These are all sugar-free up to this point. But now these are the real desserts. It's chocolate mousse. Coconut ganache tart. Lemon pound cake, well, that looks fun. Carrot cake. Tiramisu. Pistachio mousse. Caramel cream puff. German chocolate cake. Coconut rum bars. And peanut butter mousse. And then there's more cookies. Coconut macaroons. And then last, but not least, peach cobbler with berries and pecan tarts. All right, I got the pistachio mousse, the lemon pound cake, and the pecan tart. Let's start with the pecan tart. Mm. It's liquidy inside. Oh, that's good. It's like a lava Thank cake. You Thank you. Thank you. Surface is good here. They've already given me lots of extra napkins. Okay, let's try the pistachio mousse. Oh, okay, I guess. It doesn't have much flavor, really. And the, the pound cake. Again, it's okay. Not much, not much flavor. All right, I, I can't come to a Vegas buffet and not get some bread pudding. It's one of my favorite parts of any Vegas buffet, especially when I get with lots of vanilla sauce on top. I also got the sugar-free strawberry shortcake. I don't normally get the sugar-free desserts, but this looks pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a try. Let's try the bread pudding. Mm. Mm. It's that soft center that's always so good. And now, strawberry shortcake. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little hard. So the food here at the Mandalay Bay Buffet, yeah, it's okay. There were some things that are pretty good, some things not so good. 
Uh, you know, that can be typical of a Vegas buffet, but at $33, it's a little pricey. Maybe more like a, a $25 buffet, or even $20, would be the perfect price for this buffet. But as it is, the price isn't right. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Mandalay Bay Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.